Hey guys, I'm Rebecca, creator of Ganchi Plans Printables. Today we're doing the Christmas bundle, which was released in September 2021. Um, at the beginning of every month, I like to make a video going over the inserts that were released the previous month to give you an idea of like the design process, what I was thinking, um, what I'm planning to use them for myself, how I use them, um, to give you guys ideas and inspiration for using my inserts in your own planner system. So uh, as I said, I do that for the month previous. So this was the one and only release in September 2021. It is for Christmas, which is why I'm here sweating in a little hat to uh, be festive and get you in the spirit because it's probably not way too soon to start planning for Christmas. Um, so if you think this is something you might be interested in, keep watching. So here it is. This may seem super early. Um, this video is coming out at the beginning of October, but I definitely wanted to make sure that this in bundle was out in time for those of you who wanted to start planning Christmas earlier. Um, and that may or may not be you. If it's not, know that this is here for you. Um, but I also have heard that apparently this year, 2021, there's going to be a lot of like shipping delays and stuff. So who knows, might not be a bad idea to jump on it. In any case, this insert, um, the first one, one, uh, oh, sorry, 051A, just quick side note, um, I kind of like get a kick out of making the numbers match something about the insert that only has happened a couple times. Insert 40 was the pregnancy bundle, um, and there's 40 weeks in a pregnancy, so there you go. Insert 50 was the NaNoWriMo bundle, which you write 50,000 words, and so I'm making this a thing. 51 is the week of the year that Christmas falls in. It fits, right? Okay, there we go. So that helps you remember. Uh, insert 51 is the Christmas bundle and it comes in uh, G parts. So uh, number A is the countdown to Christmas, but this only starts on December 1st. But the idea is to have a little something to decorate, uh, to fill in. You can do this with your kids, uh, just sort of color in the present box as you count all the way down. Sort of like a little advent calendar, except you don't get chocolate. Then insert B is events and parties. Let me zoom in so you can see a little better. I'd like to fit as much as I can on these pocket size inserts. Um, so on a screen, they look a little small. So uh, for any events that you are going to or that you have, um, I know this year is still unfortunate, uh, but hopefully maybe you're watching this in the future and it's a beautiful new world and people just see each other in public. Um, so date, time, location, great dress, you know, maybe it's, uh, you know, what's it called? Black tie, or maybe it's, you know, pajama party or an ugly sweater party, then bring what kind of food you're going to bring or whatever. And then a special spot for attendees gifts. I always like to try to remember like, okay, so we're going to go and see aunt Susan and we have presents for her kids. Um, and also I think that uncle Bill's going to be there and we have his present. So let's write all that down so that we don't forget the things we're going to bring and then end up like we have in the past uh, with some cousins present just sitting around the house for almost an entire year because we never got around to getting it to him. Yeah. Um, so that's the idea is remember exactly what to bring both the, you know, green bean casserole and also all the knickknacks and things that you need to make sure to wrap and bring. Insert C is gift ideas. This is where you decide what you're actually getting. Um, a little bit of a brainstorming space. So you can put some, you know, multiple ideas, list the store. Um, I think if you were super organized, I would probably do organize these by store so that you have like, you know, but that's just me. Uh, recipient date. So that's again, like, if you know that you're going to have a gift exchange party on Christmas Eve or like a week earlier, it's like a school party or you need to give a, a gift to a teacher on the last day of school, the date may not be Christmas. So there you go. Um, budget, if you are good at budgeting. Uh, and then you can write down how much you actually paid for the gift so that you can keep an eye, uh, an eye on how you did on each one. Uh, so the ideas and then the store, sometimes there are certain people that you just want to go to a store and browse and pick up something, um, or see what, which of these ideas they have there and just get it done. So then you can check off bought, received, if you had it shipped to you, you bought it on Amazon, it's received by you, then wrapped and then given. Some of these may not apply if you're shipping it directly to the recipient, whatever, but that's the idea uh, to check off and see where you are in each one by the date you need it. And hopefully that is enough information for each gift. 
And stocking stuffers are a little bit less involved, so basically I just made a couple of checklists. Uh, there's room for four stockings per page. If you have more than that, then um, God bless you. Uh, but that's why you can print it on the back of the page too, and that's fine. Uh, so you put, you know, the name of the person with the stocking, and then just a list of stuff. I generally, I think, like to just have a, a brain list, a brain, a brain list, sort of a brain dump list of ideas, a uh, brainstorm session, and then you can check stuff off, you know, something to eat, something to wear, something to play with. Then thank you notes. This is so that you don't forget what you're picking for people. I like have been so bad lately at remembering who gave my kids what. Um, I remember it and then I think, oh, I'll remember that. And then I don't remember it. So uh, what it is, who it's from. And then if there's a card needed, you can check it off. Feel free to cross off that box for lots of people because I feel like the etiquette there is changing. Um, but there are still some people who should be getting a card probably, and there's a checkbox for it. Apologize for my impudent printer in the background there. Um, then we have a holiday traditions insert. You see there are a lot of blank ones uh, that you can fill out your own holiday traditions, but I also did get you started on one of these inserts. Um, there's a front and back of some ideas. Feel free to uh, reject the ones you don't want, but I sort of have them organized by um, like things to do, places to go, um, volunteer opportunities, things to eat. So you can pause if you like and take a look at uh, all the things here on the list that I added. Feel free to, like I said, add your own on all of the space that I've given or uh, reject whichever ones you want and cross them off. Like, for example, I am not going to be doing Elf on the Shelf, but I know a lot of people like to. Um, so there you go. Letter to Santa. Uh, ice skating, build a snowman. That's just not something that I can do here. But if you live where it's snow, like, just know that sometimes, you know, most of the time I love living in Southern California, but sometimes it would be kind of nice to have snow every so often, especially in the middle of this. I'm, I'm glad the weather's cooling down. Uh, right now because we're going to be growing lettuce soon in my garden. I just have been looking forward to that for a long time. Then the uh, last one here is the holiday movies insert. This is something that's been a staple of my Christmas planning in my planner for a while. Um, I definitely recommend saving this list uh, for the next year and then sort of redoing it both to add and remove uh, movies that you either like saw once and then didn't like. For example, I was looking up a list of like classic holiday movies, right? And it was like, you should watch Holiday Inn. If you've seen it, you know where this is going. I had never seen it. I had seen like White Christmas because that's everywhere. It's really easy to watch White Christmas. I don't know, maybe it's not still on Netflix anymore, but it has been for years. Uh, you gotta watch a Bing Crosby, right? Well, okay, so I finally one year found Holiday Inn. It was on Amazon Prime one year. Don't know why they put it there because I was not warned. There, There's blackface in that movie. I, I'd never seen it like, like so blatant before and oh my goodness, it was uncomfortable. Okay, uh, anyway, so for example, I would remove that from my list. I saw it once, I don't need to see it again. But the important thing is to know what the movie is and what the platform is. Uh, there's a lot of stuff on Disney Plus these days, still several on Netflix. I can recommend Klaus on Netflix. It's a Netflix original. It's very cute if you have that platform. Um, who knows? Does like, I don't know, HBO Max, just, do they have Christmas movies? They probably do. So there you go. Um, and then, like I said, keep this around because you're going to forget which movies you wanted to watch. So like I have it archived, my list from last year. So I'll pull it out and I'll just transfer things over and I will search each one. Where can you watch the Santa Claus? Where can you watch? Oh gosh, I think the Peanuts specials are on like Apple TV now because like who has an Apple TV? I think my in-laws do. So maybe we'll go watch the Peanuts special over there. Anyway, that was a bit rambly, but that was the entire bundle. I hope that you are feeling motivated now to get some Christmas planning done, and I hope that if you grab this bundle that it helps you get that done quicker, easier, and with less stress. Um, if you find this video useful, please give a like, and of course check out the rest of my shop. 
So that's everything I have to show you today. I hope that you are intrigued and interested in the Christmas bundle. Um, let me know below which of the components you're most interested and excited to use. I know for me, I'm always super excited about the um, the Christmas movie lists that I like to make, but also the first thing I'm gonna be jumping into is um, gift planning. Obviously that's gonna be super important. So uh, let me know below if you're planning to use this bundle and don't forget to subscribe. I post planner videos every Thursday. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.